Hello, I'm going to show you how you can use Bubble's new AI page builder to build a sign up login page in just a couple of minutes. So let's get straight into it. Um, so first of all, I've got a blank bubble project. You want to go up to the top left, go to add a new page with AI. At the moment, this is in beta, so it's only going to get better. Go and view more, click on sign in page, um, use existing style variables. I'm going to go a minimal sign up and login page and generate with AI. And that's going to take uh, a minute or so to, uh, to generate. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, it's been about 90 seconds and now I've got this page that looks like this. I'm going to preview it and you'll see that not a lot of it works. The only thing that does work in here, which will change it from sign up to login. So we need to go and we need to create a lot of the logic. So what I'm going to do is go into the data, go into user, and we're going to create a new field called full name, which is going to be a text field. Um, and that's where we're going to store the full name. Then we're going to have to rename some of these inputs. Um, some of these, what you may see may be different because it's done by AI, it's going to be different every time, but I think the, um, the overall should be the same. So we're going to have to call this um, full name input. Um, then we're going to call this one email input sign up. And I'm going to call this one uh, password uh, input sign up. They give them horrible names to begin with, which is why we're going to have to rename them. Uh, password conf input sign up. Okay, fine. Now we can click on the sign up button and we can add a workflow to it. We can go uh, sign up the user. We can add all fields, which is going to bring up the full name. And then we can type in full name input value. There we go. Uh, and then for the email, we're going to go on the email input sign up. There we go. And value. And on the password, we can type in password input sign up. Okay. Oh, make sure we select value. Then we want a password confirmation. So for that one, we're going to type in our password conf. There we go. Value, just so they've got to type in two passwords that match. We don't want to, to send them an email. Um, and we're going to say, yes, remember them. Okay, so now, oh, actually, after that's done, what we're going to do is send them to a new page. So we're going to go, go to, um, and we're just going to send them to the index page. I haven't got anything on this index page, but um, at least we'll be able to tell you know, if it's working. And we only want this to happen if the current user is logged in, because when they sign up to a new account, they automatically get logged in. And this is how we know if it's been successful or not. Um, then we want to make sure that all of these um, have this one selected, should not be empty. Um, there we go. Same for that. Okay, so let's give this a go and see what we get. So, Matt test Matt at gmail.com, and I'm going to put in a silly password, not very secure at all. Um, and there we go. Yeah, it me my password's not very correct, uh, not very secure even. And let's go to the back end of Bubble. Let's go to the app data, and there we go. We've got that account which we've just created. So let's go and do the same for the login. So the login is here on the left hand side. Um, and if we go to email, we need to rename this as well. So this is going to be email input um, uh, login, and this is going to be password input login. Okay. Um, and then we want to click on the login button and it's pretty much the same as what we did before, apart from this time we want to go log, uh, log the user in and the email is going to be email input login. Make sure you select login and not sign up and password input sign up, uh, login. Ooh, almost made that error there. Um, yes, they want to be st stay logged in and yes, we want to remember the email. And I'm going to copy and paste that step there, um, which was go to the page when the user is logged in. Um, and lastly, we just want to make sure that both of these cannot be empty. Okay, so that should be fine. So if I now go over to preview, I should be able to say, 
Then I can type in the account I just signed up with, put in my terrible password, and we should be redirected to this, you know, it doesn't look like anything, but this is, you know, it could be our dashboard, it could be whatever it is. And that is our working um, dashboard, you know, sign in and log in dashboard. We can do lots of stuff to this, such as taking away the header, we may not want the header. Just remove that. And let's say we don't want the footer either. Let's remove that. Reload that. What have we got? Yep. Better. And we could go in and change it to, but I don't have any images to replace them with. So that's how you can create a really quick sign up slash login page for your Bubble app in you know, a couple of minutes using Bubble's new AI page generator. Um, hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll get back to them. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.